allow me to introduce the newest member of the Tool Temple cult. I was uh, browsing the worldwide uh, classifieds for a better wood life, and this is what I found. Not uh, exactly what I was looking for, but for uh, for now she'll uh, fit nicely in with the other cult members. Um, unfortunately, this will mean that at some point I'll have to offer up one of the members to the tool gods because it's getting a bit crowded here and I can't give them all the attention they need. This one here is a very close family member to the old lathe I fixed up. Same waist, same uh, center height. I, uh, I bet those legs will fit under the other machine if needed. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you. As you can see, that is uh, very similar. So I'm thinking maybe I can fix my tailstock alignment problem by swapping the tailstocks. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a Morse 2 taper, and it is uh, not possible to swap the quill because uh, this one is a bit thinner. The whole casting seems to be a bit thinner. I always thought that my old lathe was either a Kerger or an Auerbach, and I still don't know, but this machine here is a Kerger. G. Kerger. Berlin. Notice the missing of the ways here. I have no clue why that is. It, uh, it looks uh, original, but uh, why you want to do that, I don't know. Not really useful. Just like my uh, wood lathe, this one also has a uh, sliding uh, uh, spindle threading arrangement, although the uh, mechanism um, to uh, engage the uh, star nut with the master uh, works in a different fashion. If you pull up this lever, this plate on the back which has dovetails slides upwards and that locks the star nut with the master. So once the uh, male and female threads are interlocked, the spindle will start uh, moving forward when turning. So now all you have to do is uh, set up a uh, um, single point uh, threading tool on your uh, tool rest and you're ready to start copying the uh, thread from here to the front. It should be simple enough, but uh, I still need to try it out. Here's a look at the chuck. It doesn't look too bad. It did come with a homemade chucky. Works pretty easy. And I do have the uh, outside jaws or the reverse jaws. And I can get it out there, which I can't with my wood lathe. Judging by these holes in the leg castings, I'm pretty sure this machine originally had a uh, treadle uh, contraption to drive the spindle and uh, not an electric motor. So the electric motor must have been a later addition. I would like to find a uh, Lathe with a complete uh, treadle construction. It would be nice to restore one of those. Maybe put it in the hallway or the living room or wherever I'm allowed to. Unfortunately, I can't show you this thing running. Um, the motor isn't uh, working at the moment. There's also two belts on here, which is rather odd because there's only one pulley on the motor. So there's no way of using two belts. They are also rather worn. This one even more than the other one. To be honest I never saw such worn belts in my life. Here's a look at the slides. They are also similar to the ones uh, on the uh, old machine I restored but not the same. They are a little smaller. 
it also doesn't have the nice ball handles and these uh, dials aren't as nice as the ones on the other machines the, the tool clamp seems to be the same size as the uh, the other machine not sure why they added an uh, extra nut probably the thread got damaged yeah, that looks fine these are the uh, wood turning tool rest that came with the uh, lathe and I did a little investigating and this is my conclusion this here is not original it's way too small this here they made that into a piece that goes onto the ways the three ways go here but I think this is the original tool rest and somebody cut off this piece because without it it's way too sh short the plate that goes onto the waist is missing as are the original clamp but these parts I got with my uh, lathe that I restored and this is the plate that goes onto the waist this is the bolt clamping down the tool rest it fits these are the same thickness they fit so somewhere in the past some son of a bitch cut off this piece in order to screw me over plate that uh, came with my uh, restored machine the bolt that came with it the uh, cut off banjo and here's a tool rest that came with the restored machine it's a bit tight but there's probably some rust in there and of course that little piece of metal that is supposed to push against the stem is missing the same as with my uh, wood lathe so, there you have it a uh, very short stubby tool rest not very good not very useful let's have a look inside this drawer a reamer probably very dull because it's been laying in the junk here no idea what this speed is no idea a lace spider, not even homemade. A couple of files. This one seems to be uh, made into a scraper. Can probably use that. This uh, even looks like an uh, original scraper. I think this is for thread cutting. No idea. Oh, so this is also a tool holder. Because this has a tool in there. They're pretty huge. Boring bar. Center. A homemade uh, life center with lots of play. No idea. Another life center. 
could also be homemade. Right here. Some kind of tool holder for in the uh, tailstock. Very small little chuck which is stuck. No idea. Stock material. Mendel. Another small chuck. Looks like somebody attempted uh, to do some treading on here. Uh, a reamer. Hmm. Kind of interesting tool holder. Tool bits. Key for Jacob. Here is a big chuck with extremely mangled up teeth. Spring. Some adjustment plates. Tiny chuck key. Well, at least I got the outside jaws. These here are the uh, thread templates. There's another star nut for the uh, very for very thin threads you can hardly see them all these are the master spring some sort of arbor and a key and that's uh, a few more bits and that's about it damn chicken shut up I'll be right back because tonight I will have chicken. Oh. Well, it's our lucky day. And the lathe also came with uh, two small boxes with um, with some stock material, a few pieces of uh, nylon, some copper. Aluminium, a few bits of steel, very useful. I will add uh, this to my collection. So that's it, my new toy. Not sure why I bought this thing. Probably because it was local and uh, cheap. But uh, it's definitely not the uh, wood lathe I was looking for. I don't need another lathe, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this thing. Maybe try it out as my wood life for a while, but at some point I'm gonna get rid of one of these machines. Either this one or that one.